Hello everybody, I'm Mike Levin of Levinix and today I'll be showing you Git, the distributed version control system and the last tool to demonstrate from the Levinix software short stack. I've already downloaded the Levinix archive, unzipped it, and double clicked the icon to run it, and I've already chosen option 4 to build it into a Python, Vim, and Git server. And you'll notice I'm on beta version 1.4, which is important if you're going to try and use Git because I found some dependencies that I missed on version 1.3. Our first step is to open a terminal window, or PuTTY if you're on Windows, and I will SSH into TC at localhost, P for port 2222. Our password is foo. I'll do an ls. Last time we worked inside the pydocs directory. This time I am going to use the mkdir command to make dir. I'm going to make a directory called hello. And I'm going to cd into it. And I'm going to use vim to create hello.py. I hit i for insert. I type print space double quote hello world for the simplest form of hello world in Python. And I did escape colon wq to write and quit. I type clear to move my cursor to the top. And I'll execute that program by typing python space hello.py. Hello world, yay! Okay, but I'm here to show you Git. I'm going to do an ls. There's the hello.py. I'm going to do ls hyphen a to show you all the files in the directory, even the hidden ones. There's two pseudo directories in there, which stand for the current directory and the directory up. But as you can see, it's essentially just hello.py in that directory. I type git init to initialize this as a git repository. Now I type ls hyphen a and you'll see there is a dot git folder in there and that's hidden. If I were to just do ls you wouldn't see it. So it's now a git repository. And now I am going to uh, add hello.py to the repository. So you do git add hello.py. Okay, that's in the repository now. And now I'm going to commit my changes. git commit hyphen m for a message my first program. Ah, okay, a few messages, but don't worry, this is the first time I'm running git on this machine, so I have to tell it my name and email address because as a version control system, it likes to know who made the edit. To do that, you simply type git config hyphen hyphen global user dot email, your email address, and then git config global user.name. Okay, now if I up arrow a couple of times, there's my commit command, and I'll enter it, and there you go. It is now a Git repository that has active version control. Um, our next step is to push it up to a Git repository. Now this is a little tricky because you you have to use an off-site service and this is part of the whole uh, code safe for life theme. I showed you how to use Dropbox to make your code safe by put, making the same instance across multiple machines, but say you deleted it and every time you logged into Dropbox on another machine it would also remove that file. So this creates a centralized location you can store your code. I'm going to be using Bitbucket, which is a service you might have heard about. Uh, the famous one is GitHub, but Bit, Git, Bitbucket gives you unlimited private repositories. So 
I'll sign up. Sign up for free. You usually don't get the captcha, but I've been doing this demo a few times, so it now is confirming. And there you go, that's how easy it is to sign up for uh, your own personal uh, Git repository on Bitbucket. So I type, create your first repository. I don't type it, I select it. I will call it hello. And I'll keep the default options. It'll be private. I'm using Git. And I choose a language, Python. Create a repository. And you might be tempted at this point to tell it that you're creating it from scratch or that you have code that you want to import since you uh, actually type something, but you actually choose I'm creating it from scratch. And we went through all these initial steps. The only thing that we're interested in is this last command, git remote add origin and an address. I'm only going to copy the address because I want to type this as part of the tutorial. git remote add origin. git remote add origin and we paste the address we hit enter and now that the repository knows where the remote code is to be saved we can do git push u for upstream origin master it should challenge us for our password Voila! We just pushed up our first Git repository. Done. I can move over to the Bitbucket service and do a refresh. And voila! It has recorded the fact that I have created a repository called Hello and done one push, which contains one commit. Okay, so you saw how code propagated around when using Dropbox to make the server replicate in multiple locations. Now, with completely different servers, let's just make the code replicate. Here we are in Ubuntu, and I had similarly unarchived, created the server, chosen, chosen option four. So this is a completely uh, new Linux server, just like the one on the Mac that we were just on. And I will SSH into TC at localhost port 2222, password foo. Do an LS just to demonstrate that it's a fresh system. And here we do git clone, and then we use that same address, cloning, asking for the password. And now I do an ls, oh, another directory. Let's cd into hello, do an ls, oh, there's my program, Python hello.py. And there you have it. Git is as fundamental to your workflow as your text editor or your programming language, which is why I made it part of the Linux short stack and made sure that I got to this demo as early as possible. You want to start thinking in terms of a complete undo history of your work back to the beginning of your programming experience and this is how you do it. Thanks for joining me today for this Levinix Git tutorial. I hope to see you next time.